in general, the, the notion of the virtual cloud network is something that the industry received very well. It's not just a VMware term, it's an industry term for the network that's going to carry our customers for the next 20 years of their digital journey. Pat was joined by two of our service provider customers on stage. One is Telstra, the largest oh, operator yeah. in Australia, and also uh, with a footprint that extends across all of Asia, Pacific, and Japan. Definitely. And the second is Swisscom, uh, mm -hmm. Switzerland's national carrier. So Stephen, you know, at Swisscom, you're doing some amazing things with NSX, both internal as well as presenting it as services to your customers. Can you talk about that a little bit? Yes, of course. Pleasure. Um, yeah, so Swisscom, um, we're the largest telecom and service provider in Switzerland. We have been innovating from the beginning of the cloud. So SDN concepts in our data center are what we have been doing for a couple of years, integrating them in different platforms that we have deployed. And recently, when we decided to revamp our whole cloud, we, did, we onboarded on this SEC concept for Dell Technologies. And part of that is NSX. And NSX is one of these key technologies that enables us to deliver services to our customers. And we want to be this managed services provider. And what NSX offers us is not only better uses of resources, but also a cloud-like experience with self-service, automation of manual tasks, uh, introducing new concepts like infrastructure as code, and most important for us, security, compliance, by adding firewalling, micro-segmentation, and so forth. So for us, it's, it's key in delivering service to our customers and internally. So Jim, maybe turning to you a little bit, you know, SD-WAN has been a huge uh, focus for Telstra, and uh, talk to us a little bit about how that fits into your overall strategy. Yeah, sure, great, thanks Pat, I'd like to do that. So Telstra is the largest service provider carrier in Australia, oh, also operate right. the largest network in Asia Pacific and mm -hmm. into the US. So obviously SD-WAN and how we connect in today's cloud and digital world is very important. So our strategy is to embrace and aggressively adopt software-defined networking uh, so we can actually provide innovative solutions to our customers on that digital journey. So with our fully automated, software-defined Telstra programmable network, we actually allow customers to interconnect data centers and public clouds around the globe, basically provision bandwidth on demand that's private, secure, and pay down by the hour. And so what we did with our SD-WAN strategy, and really where NSX and VeloCloud fit in, was to actually allow us to extend that capability to our customer's edge into the branch. So when you actually combine the NSX SD-WAN with the Telstra programmable network, what we feel is that we're delivering the network of the future for our customers today, providing the speed, resiliency, cost performance, security, and global reach that they need to operate and be successful in today's digital world. And NSX SD-WAN really is a, a fantastic complement to our strategy. Talk to me us a little bit about the overall tech vision of Swisscom and how you see this idea of the virtual cloud network fitting into that strategy. There are two key things that de de determine this vision. So first of all, we see that customers want to choose their, their own environment, their own cloud, and run services in the best infrastructure possible. Mm -hmm. That's one. The second one is clearly the emerging uh, new technologies like containers, uh, Cloud Foundry, Kubernetes, serverless. And, and all these things need to come together. And, and our vision, and we're a network operator, so for us that's the center of the universe, of course. Um, we see the network as the, pla the, the, the place where we can implement all these controls. So it's no longer about just doing networking, transporting data, but it's connecting um, systems, locations, devices, and applications in order to deliver the right information in the right place. And the network is the place where we will bring this all together. And, and so this all fits into our managed services strategy that in the end, the customer can consume a service from any place, anywhere, and bring that um, to their employees, to their customers, wherever they want to have it. What I, I'm looking in the future is um, you know, some aggressive adoption of SD-WAN. Um, interconnections between, again, private and public clouds, those seamless architectures you were speaking of earlier. But really, to me also, it's, it's the use cases. I think a lot of people and customers are using it right now more for resiliency and cost, which, by the way, it's great for. But I think in the next two years, you're really going to see people start to focus on the application and how they get the application to drive the network. And when you get to that network as a service point, that's where you truly get to end-to-end -to -end cloud computing. And, and from both from a metrics and how you're driving it, and then more importantly, for the technologies of the future, how you extend that out to the edge and 5G and enable IoT. 
the boundary and the, uh, between service providers and enterprise customers is definitely blurring as we go forward here. So we're going to hear a little bit more about that later on this session. Awesome. So speaking of enterprise customers, we also got a chance to sit down with folks from WL Core. We had the uh, chief information security officer from uh, WL Gore uh, uh, here at the show, and he talked about how security is an important part of what they do, and this, this whole notion of using VMware NSX data center to provide compliance and governance for what he does, especially for across all their different business units, and to provide consistency of how to manage security policy across all their businesses. Let's watch and see what they said at the show. Cool. WL Gore has several divisions, right? It's, it's a 60-year-old company, private wow. company out of Delaware. Uh, a lot of people know us for our breathable, waterproof yeah, fabrics, right? Gore-Tex, yeah. right? But there's also a medical division that makes everything from heart stents to, to um, lots of things that go into bodies and save yep, lives, yep. right? Wow, that's so, pretty crazy. Yeah, I mean, think about just the tremendous rate of change that we see in mm -hmm. technology. Yeah. Right. How, as you know, mm -hmm. the, the key behind driving these experiences, mm -hmm. how do you engage? What are you doing to keep, keep pace with all oh, the sure. transitions? So there's an, an IT transformation that, that started about a year ago, and then there was a business transformation. The whole digital transformation that we're, we're working on in Gore is exactly that. How do we take our network that we have today that could have 20-year-old switches in it, right? It's doing its job. But how do we take that to the next level? Mm -hmm. You know, we were a legacy company, a, a, a very let's build it ourselves um, methodology to, to more of a let's do, you know, SaaS offerings. Let's go out to the cloud. Let's do this as, as efficiently as possible. Yeah. And the IT transformation, which I'm much more closer with, yep. is everything about uh, creating uh, the, the next generation network, right? Okay. So it's uh, SD-WAN technologies, uh, certainly uh, data center and, and how software-defined data centers are going to um, improve our capabilities. There's a big push to the cloud. Yep. Um, that's been about two years in the making. Oh, wow. So we were very on-premise focused, yep. and now we're the opposite. So okay. now we're very, very um, cloud first, cloud, cloud first. centric. Yep. Just taking the cloud as an example. Right now we are, we are partnered with AWS. We're jumping into the Azure space. So every every cloud, from a security perspective, from an operations perspective, they all have different ways of doing things. You're, you're the CISO, right? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. You're focused on security. Uh -huh. Yet everything you talk about is you know out in the cloud, out in the distributed world where the perimeters right. no longer exist. Yet at the same time, you're selling into you, you said. Yeah, uh, government, uh, your, your military, healthcare. Uh -huh. I mean, these are heavily regulated industries. Exactly. How do you solve for that? Yeah. Well, okay. Uh, case in point, NSX was a was a purchase last year. Yep. Right. And that gave thank me, you for that. Uh, you're welcome. <laughs> that that actually gave us. Uh, thank you, by the way. Um, that gave us network segmentation. Right. So we were a flat network. Yep. We were able to contain, uh, create containment zones uh, throughout the global core network. And also, it was able to give us the ability to become compliant with NIST regulations for military contracts. Very cool. Right? So we were able to sustain existing contracts and bid on new ones based on being compliant with government regulations. Right. And then getting that consistency. I know you use AWS. Yeah. Um, are you guys we're, on we're Azure We're moving as well? towards uh, Azure as well go. as AWS. Consistency is, is huge for information security, right. right? So I look at everything through that lens. But if you're talking about automation and consistency, without those, you don't have a dependable way to say, yes, we're secure, gotcha. right? And each cloud does things a bit differently. Yep. So configurations and, and things like that are, are different, whichever world you're operating in. Yep. Um, but as long as you can manage workloads um, with something like uh, the virtual cloud offerings that we're talking about. Yep. I mean, it gives us consistency, so I'm able to sleep at night from, nice. from a security perspective because we, we have the ability to say, oh yeah, we're doing things the same way in multiple environments. So we're, uh -huh. we're getting close. I think Pat's waiting yeah. for you on stage. Okay. So I want to just right. say, hey, good luck to you. I appreciate Thanks. you here telling your story. It's a compelling one. Yeah. Um, and I'm, I'm looking forward to listening to it. So oh, hey, uh, why don't we walk All over right. and thanks right, for Peter. that. There's other stories that we've heard about and some of them we'd like to take a look at today. So let's watch and hear from these customers. IHS Market is in a unique position. We have a 
a customer base of 50,000. We've got insight into information across so many different sectors, so many different product lines. IHS Market's mission is to bring insight to information for its customers. We need to be a very agile organisation. We need to be able to disseminate this information quickly, process it quickly. So that means leveraging a lot of cutting edge technologies to be able to do that for our customers. I think the big thing that VMware is doing for us, particularly with NSX and the vRealize suite, is helping us reduce our time to market. The, the rate of change in the industries we're in and, and that our customers expect means that we need to be able to get our products out the door as quickly as possible to maintain a competitive edge. And the automation and the agility that, that we get from things like NSX from vRealize really helps in that area. The, the security is baked into the product, it's not an afterthought. So not only do we get all the network automation benefits, but we know that when our developers deploy their code, it, it's secure from day one. NSX makes security easy. Our CTO, Randy Harvey, has a phrase, frictionless IT. He doesn't want IT to be in the way of the business. And what that has led us to do is to look at products like VMware's NSX, VMware's vRealize, to, to enable that change. NSX to Node Africa means agility. We're able to roll out quickly with limited resources in a manner that's reliable and scalable. We aim to be the largest cloud provider in Sub-Saharan Africa and what NSX allows us to do is have a Pan-African-wide network and security policies follow whichever customer has their data on our platform regardless of the region they're in. We're seeing three benefits out of NSX. No readdressing of IP, automation of security zones and the management of micro-segmentation. I'm not limited to the Hevetia private cloud. I'm able to get use of external services, external clouds. I'm always able to deliver. Almar Bank is keen to ensure we've got the technology to secure our infrastructure, to secure our data center with NSX. The VMs move across the data center with their network policy, with their security policy, which makes it secure and straightforward. IT setup is much faster. Our products and services will reach the market much faster, and which our customers can benefit from.